Hello, avid followers, or welcome back. In today's news, Washington Post journalist Mary Jordan spoke to a hundred White House insiders for The Art of Her Deal, the untold story of Melania Trump. Sources have told CBS News that Donald Trump originally offered the position of vice president to New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, but the offer to the new now former governor was later withdrawn. Mr. Christie said of Mrs. Trump, This is not some wallflower. This is somebody who is self-confident and self-assured. He adds, people who claim Mrs. Trump does not love her husband are misreading the signs. Roger Stone, a former Trump campaign advisor, said, People say, oh, she's a model, therefore she must be dumb. There's nothing dumb about her. She's a balancing influence on him. She's the one who ultimately said, you know, Donald, stop talking about running for president and do it. If And if you run, you're going to win. In 2019, Mr. Stone was arrested in relation to Robert Mueller's special counsel investigation. In February, he was sentenced to 40 months in prison after being found guilty on seven counts of lying to Congress, obstruction, and witness tampering. This week, a judge said his sentence must, must begin on July 14th, rejecting a request for a delay due to coronavirus. Federal Judge Amy Berman Jackson explained this arrangement, will address the defendant's stated medical concerns, and will also protect the health of other inmates who share defendant's anxiety over the potential introduction of, and the spread of the virus at the now unaffected facility. Thomas Barrick Jr. was the chairman of Trump's inauguration committee. Mr. Barrick has been a major fundraiser for the president. He told Ms. Jordan, that woman, she will be the end of him. She is stubborn. She should be with her husband. He is the president of the United States, a White House official reportedly claimed. People cross millennia at their own risk, and that risk is off with your head. I'm not kidding. You're gone if she doesn't like you. Trump is standing for re-election in November, however, polling seems to suggest Democratic, Democratic challenger Joe Biden will win the election, with the former vice president's odds shortening, according to Oddschecker. The Democrats are also favorites to retain their majority in the House of Representatives, which they won in 2018 midterms. The Republicans are, however, favorites to retain the Senate's majority, a third of the 100 seats are up for election every two years. In total, 23 Republican and 12 Democrat seats are up for election in November in regular reflections, whilst two Republican senators are up for special elections, having been appointed by state governors to see out terms of previously elected senators in Arizona and Georgia. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.